the issue on campuses, the the kind of movement against Israel, is that is that something you've come across? Or? Absolutely. Uh, the last number of years, uh, certainly with the platform as a member of Knesset and a former member of Knesset, I do travel around quite a bit and try to address uh, what's happening. Uh, I work now for an organization called Honest Reporting, which just reveals the media bias against Israel. So the average college student is growing up in an environment where the mainstream media tends, not always, but tends to be anti-Israel and puts out news that's just misleading about what's happening in Israel. And that takes these students away uh, from certainly Jewish students from their roots, but even non-Jewish students are just misled about what's happening in Israel. Israel stands for human rights. Israel stands for justice. We're the only democracy in the Middle East. We just had an election, a smooth transition of power. Where else does it happen uh, in the Middle East? And we're so proud of that. And Arabs uh, vote for the Knesset. They have representatives in the Knesset. It's a democracy. And so many people don't know that. They see little screenshots of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. They see Israeli tanks on the one hand and Palestinian stone throwers on the other hand. And they think that we're somehow this conquering superpower that's abusing another people. Uh, that's why people have to be educated properly. That's part of what we try to do in honest reporting and call out the media. There'll be people watching, uh, you're watching today and you'd like to get involved. They want, you know, we have a, you, there's a lot of people, you'll be watching today and you're someone who advocates for Israel. You're getting involved with um, uh, defending Israel. Is there, is there a website they can go to? Absolutely. First of all, they can go to honestreporting.com. If they want to literally become partners with us to tell the true story about Israel and talk about the biblical prophecies that are coming true uh, and the incredible country that we have, they can actually email me directly at dove at honestreporting.com and I'd be happy to get you involved in, in what we're doing. Um, and there's a real effort that we have to make to tell the truth. And people of faith all around the world get this. Uh, they know that there's a, uh, a left-wing, liberal, progressive movement uh, in the world which is trying to pull people away from the biblical uh, faiths and traditions and from truths. Uh, what's happening in Israel is truths. You can't, uh, th there are facts that are on the ground and we try to share uh, those facts and we try to counter uh, the, uh, I'll steal a uh, phrase from the President of the United States, to counter the fake news and and to really just try to tell the truth. Uh, the Bible tells us, or a betuv Yerushalayim, see the good in Jerusalem. Uh, the prophet foresaw a time when people were going to harp on this negative story or that negative story, and God tells us through the prophets, see the good of Jerusalem, see how much good is happening. And as you said before, uh, come to Israel, see it for yourselves without any propaganda. Just come and travel around and you'll experience the good that's happening. You'll experience the prophecies uh, that are coming true. And they can certainly, like I said before, be in touch with me directly if they want to partner with us in this effort. And I think that would be really good for you. You know, there's people you want to be involved. You're out there and you're saying, I'm desperate to be helping Israel. I'm desperate to do something to make a difference. And this is something you can really get your teeth into. They there's uh, there's so many opportunities, even if it's only writing to your local newspaper or your local TV station and presenting the truth of what's really going on. And they can, there's a lot of information on the Honest Reporting website about uh, stories which you can um, explain the reality of what's really happening. Um, well, it's been great to have you with us today, Dove. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much.